Hello, hello. Hello, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Before I do this thing, right? I was gonna say not to do this right. Woohoo, I did it. So what this is, as y'all know, female's got the corner. And if you don't, you should. She does mostly kits. She's reason reasonably priced. I enjoy doing them. And I backed up a few steps this this video because I am doing going to be working on her tea cozy. Here is Bmod's channel. If you don't know her already, copy. Get that out of the way. Paste. And then this is her Etsy store, which she has the kits. A little still available. But the cool thing is, is you, buy, you can buy the kit from her. She also has the directions and the measurements of her kits. So I decided I ran them, I copied them the day of September, August, I believe the cozy was July. Yeah, July, August, September. And October's is sitting here. And I will be doing that one next. But I was decided. I'm going to do July's. So I'm going to put them in the binder so I can reference back. Because this kit, I asked her about it, and she made me a special one for myself um, for Christmas. Christmas is right around the corner. You know, just that little something you want to give somebody. And just like your mailman or your... Maybe a nurse or a co-worker. Just a little something. Nothing way expensive. You know, but just a little something, something. This, and I watched her video. It's a perfect little something gift. <coughs> it's real easy. And as a course, you know how I do these. If you've watched me before, I put Bima on my tablet. You will hear her now and then as I follow her making this. So what this says is a tea cozy. She calls it a tea cozy. And I told her I wanted to order one, but I wanted it in Christmas. Then I said she should re-release them. So she just made me a Christmas rum. And guess what, guys? Y'all watch my channel and y'all know me. I love the truck. So she made me a truck one. So get the pieces out. This is her little thank you, little Christmas bulbs. I just stuck them in there. Um, so you get the little pieces. And I do have a cold, so I sound a little off. Sorry. So what she says you're going to need. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Has a bone folder. Quarter rounder, tape, self sided, glue. Eh. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. And scissors, of course, more than likely. So, to get in here, is this the base? <coughs> and I'm sitting here for two hours with oh, it, a sneeze, and then I get live and I start sneezing. Sorry about that. You get this pieces of them for these three of them about that truck gotta love that truck guys two of these two of these belly band I know this is belly band and these are I forgot what she called them but I call them little velcro dots 
Okay. So, we're going to do the step-by-step -step as I follow her in a video. And we'll go take it from there. Hi, everybody that's watching me. I'll five you. All right. As well as tea. This is my tea, guys. I usually, this is my tea right here. It's my favorite tea. But this is tea that, you know, came in pocket letters and such. The tea I have is actually that I drink. I agree all the time. Matter of fact, I'm drinking some right now. It doesn't have the little packet like that. So I just grabbed this. So, because you're going to need some tea bags. Okay. Oh, we're ready. I think I need to clean that. That's been on my car. No, something got on it. It was sticky. My bad. All right. So let's go over. And I'm going to start Miss Bima. Like I said, you will hear her because I'm going to do the step by step. And then I'm going to pause her. And where I'm going to kind of watch it, pause her, do it. That's my goal. And I kind of put her ahead a little bit because she was cutting the pieces where mine already cut. But... And if I remember, I will link. Oh, got it too loud here. I will link her video. Basically. Ah, so you can go see her make this her, okay. myself. She, her directions are very easy to follow. A child could follow these, and I'm that child. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, that's but, the first piece. Now we're going to cut. So right now she's cutting the pieces. So I'm going to go to three. Where mine were cut already, pre-cut. Which was nice to do that for me. And yours would come too in her kit in her Etsy store. All the pieces are cut. But what I like is she actually walks through. Just in case you watch it and you don't want to buy her kit, which I think it'd be nice if you did to support her, is um, she gives you the measurements and the details. Hello, hello. So, which I didn't realize because I didn't. I got her kit, followed her video, and didn't read her details until last. Till I'm like, oh really? They're in there. God, slap! Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, because. I'm like, Bima, I want to make this, and I want to copy this, and she's like, so I can make Christmas presents. Three five eight. So I'm gonna you know, neighbor. Three more that look just like this. She's like, so she, she laughs at me. Three, this is our sense of humor. She goes, Tina, eight, the measurements are in the description box. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, yeah. Whoa, slap me silly. <laughs> well... <laughs> I am sorry, I have a cold. It's finally kind of letting loose all of my head, so that's a good thing. I mean, I drank so much tea, it's probably what's pushing it, I swear to the Lord. But, um, oh, weather changes in Wisconsin. You go from 75, nice Indian weather, summer, Indian, native summers, we call them, down to 54. That should give you a total of five. You may need Oh, okay. That's kind of it for this for now. Okay. And let's bring out the scoreboard. So I'm just kind of letting Dima play around this side right now. Until so we get to a point where I can pause her. We're going to take the long piece and place it across. Because she tells you right now where to score all the marks. Which I will reference when I go to make my own when I decide to cut these out. So I'm going to make a few of these for Christmas. And have them like my mailman, my father-in-law's mailman, um, my doctor. I like my doctor, so I always give him something. My doctor has a piece of my mixed media art hanging in his office. Because I had such a long appointment and I, color, and I was coloring. I came in with a backpack and I was coloring. Okay. And he was like, wow, Tina, you're a real good color. And so I sold him my stuff, and he was very flattered. So, we sell any of them? Like, yeah, but I 
Okay, I'm to a point where I have to pause. Because, I think, hang on. So we're just going to run these two corners. I just have to figure this out. Pause, there. Is I got to get my corner rounder. Oh, corner rounder. I kind of looked later on if I did this right, because this comes up and this will come down. So this is the one I need to get my corner rounder on. So I'm going to corner round it. I put a little X, which you won't see. Anyways, there you go. Quite around it. So I'm just going to take my little eraser. I'm just going to erase my little mark. Like so. There we go. Woohoo! The first step. Round the corner. There we go. Alright. Hit it up. I gotta move my side tablet so far away. There we go. Boom. And this one. And that's done. We're gonna put that aside. Put this one aside. Then we're gonna get the pieces that we cut two of. Okay? So the two that we cut, these are the ones that are three and five eighths by four and a quarter, or four and a half. We're gonna put them in. So we're gonna auto-play again. She's doing these pieces right now. Cut, we're gonna score these at every three eighths of an inch. So this one, will drive me absolutely three, crazy. Four. But I like how she did this. One, two, three, score. One. This is what I like about Bima score. right now. One, two. Because you have to score. score. See the score marks on that? If she went like uh, score one, one, four, score two, one, you know, and all that, like score one half here with score there, I would be totally flustered. Oh, she puts it up there and she starts it and she goes one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Easy. When I watched this video earlier okay. to do this with Just you like all, I was like, oh, my God, I hate I hate scoring because I can't. So I Measurement drive me crazy. Measurement. We're just going to fold, making sure that they're even on both sides and burnishing. All right. Fold. So now we're going to fold. I'm going to play this all with fold. Get my bone folder. Long piece. And forward. Nice and pretty. And then on these pieces, what you're going to do is you're just going to fold these back and forth like an accordion. Okay, that and we're going to pause here. Band fold, oh. whatever you want to call it. We're finish folding this with the bone fold dog. So we kind of get a shape like that. Voila. Now, I have to back her up a second here, just a smidgen, because I have to remember what she says here. Okay. Going to fold. You may hear me fold back fold her up and bring her forward. Our okay. We're going to do that on the long piece. <clears throat> And then on these pieces, what you're going to do is you're just going to fold these back and forth like an accordion. Oh. Ellen Valley, okay. fan fold, whatever it is you want to call it. So there you go. A little up. I know she says to keep them even. I remember that from watching the video. So you fold up and you fold back. Fold up. Fold back. Quarter and accordion fold, I guess they call it. Sure, it's even. Looks good to me. Okay. And I'm an all fingers crafter. Do you know what I mean? I get all finger. That. So we do that. I'm gonna pinch and I get my phone folder here. I think the biggest part for me on this project was I watched her. It's gonna be this. But I got a plan. 
See, I watch these videos before I do these videos. I watch her video, I learn what I'm doing, and then I come and do it with you. Which I think is a smart way. It's just looks good, Tina Louise. So we'll smooth it out. Okay, let's put this one. I'm gonna go back. Forth. Oh, and one other section. But she she did it good, so in fact I got to get them all before I forget. You need some clippies. And I highly recommend if you're at the Dollar Tree and you have a Dollar Tree by you, buy these clips. These things are the bomb. Kind of check it once in a while, make sure you look it's pulling right on. I'm right on. Right on, right on. <laughs> These are cute. I've seen her, seen those. I'm like, man, how did I miss that? I need to buy me one of those. I did. But she made a special for me because I wanted it for Christmas. Oh, before I push down, I'm going to make sure it looks even. Well, it looks good. Then I'm going to use my bone folder. Give it a good bone. Move it over. Boom. There we go. All right, let's let Miss B Moss speak over here. Okay. And I just do them this way pretty quick. And I'm just making it's a lot faster than me. Edges lined up. Okay, both ends need to be lined up. And the edge here should be lined up as I'm doing this. If it gets out of whack, then it's going to be out of alignment. And that's going to be no good. No good whack. You need to have it in line. So just fan fold. Fan both fold. These pieces. Okay. okay. Then. I suggest have a pencil. We are going to put this together. Now, once I have this done, I typically just take my bone folder. I just kind of go over it. Then I turn the whole thing over and I do the other side. Okay. And then I'm going to take these two pieces and I'm going to kind of open them up a little bit. And I want the end, this end piece, to be facing up. All right. And that's this is where the double sided tape is going to come in. So you're going to grab your double-sided tape. Double-sided tape. You're going to put a piece of double-sided tape on every of those pieces. Okay. This is where I'm going to be, do my little technique just to help me so I don't mess this up. You need to put tape on every other piece. So what I'm going to do, first let me get my tape out of this nice little... Bima sent me this tape, double-sided tape. It's Tiny. Mine, I, I would have to, here's mine. Look at the difference. I have to find me some of this, which was nice to send me all. So what I'm going to do here, so I do not screw this part up, is I'm just going to take my pencil, and I am going to mark where I need to put this. So it's, just, it's, it's every other piece. So it would be here, here, here here and then here so then i know it's just so that i know so when i'm putting the tape down and you're covering that up so you won't see it anyways that i know that's where my tape has to go just when i was watching that i'm like it's to help me and i'll pitch it back up i do the same thing here Kind of spread it out a little bit. Don't lose the form of it. And just here, 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 and then here. Then I know. Just a little helpful hint. Just if you, you know, I could see me putting it accidentally in the wrong spot. I just know me as a crafter. So anything, any little thing that can help me along the way, I do it. That's fine. There's my scissors handy. 
Where is the... There it is. So, we're going to put the tape on the end to the end. See it? Right there to there. So click on it in. And now we smooth it down right away. I'm just gonna just the tape. So I didn't get away with you there, your finger. And there's my other mark. I said, this is just a strategy for my, I mean, you guys may not have to do that. I, on the other hand, choose to mark so I know where to put the tape. Do, 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 do. I mean, I think these are going to be cute at Christmas. See, I give my sister and brother-in-law a little something every year. Just a little something I make. And this would be a great gift for that. For them. We don't exchange gifts per se, but I always give a little something. You know, it's the season. And it's usually 90% of something I make. So... And then I thought, oh, this would be a cute one, isn't sure. Two. Look at there. See? Ta da! And three of the one. So I'm going to pinch this back together so it doesn't lose its form because I probably messed it up a little bit with this pinch. Hello, my Miss Bima. So there you go. So you can't even see the parental marks that I put there. So I knew which ones to do. Like I said. Just little things that my mind uses. So then I didn't screw up putting the tape. <clears throat> so I put a little pencil mark on every other one so I knew. Easy. We all find little techniques to, even on somebody else's like like this. This ain't my kit. I didn't I don't where Vima came up with this, I have no idea. It's kinda of cool though. But um I just noticed when in the video when I was watching, like I said, I watch her videos before I come on here. And I thought, yeah, I'm going to mark my, just the inside with a little pencil mark so I knew where to put that tape. Because I can see me screwing it up. Yeah, I know me. I know me. I know me as a crafter. Like I said, my favorite part of this whole video is when it came to the scoring part. If I was going to make this, like I said, I plan on making these. And I'm like, oh, man, look at all that scoring. But when she, how Bima did it, I was like, oh, my God, this is easy. I don't have to measure. I just have to put it in there and go, one, two, three. <laughs> one, two, three. Lucy, what are you into? Get out of my hollow. What are you doing? My cat's in my Halloween basket. Lucy, what are you doing? I know she was chasing a fly earlier. One lonely fly, so still living. Oh, I bet you that's what she was after. All ready, 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 woo! There we go. So, who is this made by? I don't have to figure out where I can order some of this tape. It's not like the width wise. I'll have to ask. All right. So we're going to pitch this back together. See? Every other one. Awesome sauce. We'll pitch that back together. Make sure I didn't lose the form. Voila. Here we go. I uh, Very happy. There we go. Smith.
I'm ahead of the video at the moment. <laughs> Which is okay. I'm going to get these all taped up and then I'll be right back. No, we're dead. Right. So I have these all taped up. I was almost done with this when I realized you guys kept that red tape. So I went ahead and did this one in white. So, I'm gonna it. so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, set these next to each other. And I'm going to make sure that the first tape is right there. So let me show you. I'm just going to open this so you can see. So you're going to put tape on every other piece. You're going to skip the first one. You're going to put it on two, four, six, eight, and ten. Nothing on the tape, okay? Just fold that back up. So we're going to start this. And the way that we start this is by taking the pieces that we cut that are still flat. And we're going to take one piece. And if you want to put a hole in this, now is the time to oh, put Man, I was going to get that. And we're just going to keep continuing okay. to do this, okay? I want to do that. I like how she had that. What can I do to do that? Oh, I can use a circle. That's what I can do. I don't know. That was cool. I can't grab it. I'm going to use this. Take my pieces. Right? Now, these would be. I'm going to go back up. So it's... And the piece, we're going to move on to the next piece. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Every other piece. I'm going to skip the first one and put it on two, four, six. Hi. Nothing on the end. Okay? Kilburn. Hello. How are you? Just fold that back up. So we're going to start this. And the way that we start this is by taking the pieces that we okay, cut okay. that are yeah. still flat. And we're going to take one piece. And if you want to put a hole in this, now is the time to do this. You want to put like a little uh, ooh. Now Hello, Christine. What are we all doing awake? I got a cold. I should be in bed. The problem is I went to bed. I bought, I watched Thema, talked to Donna a little bit, watched her. And I was doing that, checking the eyelids thing. So I laid down. And of course, I'm up. So I'm using this. And hopefully, I don't ruin this. If not, if I do ruin this, I will just go cut me some red. Because I want to make a notch. Most. So I'm going to then. Uh, just going to go halfway up. I'm going to kind of eyeball it a little bit here. I likey, likey. I always do this. Does anybody else do this? Oh, shoot, I know that. Fingernail, a thumbnail. Can't sleep. Thumbnail it. I'm a thumbnailer. And you guys are like, what is she talking about thumbnail? See, like how I got it in here? I thumbnail it. Oh, okay, look, I got a thumbnail there. And a thumbnail there. Woohoo! That's my thumbnailer. And straight up my. But I gotta get it centered. Here we go. I'm a thumbnailer. I can't be the only one that does that. Voila. Voila. Awesome sauce. There we go. I'm proud. All right. Next step. Time to do it. And we're just going to keep continuing to do this, okay? So we're going to take off the tape. We're going to lay in the piece. We're going to move on to the next piece. I'm going to go ahead and do this. And I you were sleeping yesterday when I was on, I'm woman. Okay, I got parts. I was live. Amy came in. I asked where you were. She said you were sleeping. All right. Now, I got to back this up a section here. That's a smidgen. See, I like the fact that I can back this up and redo it. I gotta make sure I got these laid out right. Every other piece. That looks so good. One, put it on two, four, six, eight, and ten. Nothing on the end. Okay? Okay, I got turned like that. Just fold that back up. So we're gonna start this. And the way that we start this is by taking up the pieces that we cut that are still flat. And we're gonna take one piece. And if you want to put a hole in this, now is the time to do this. You want to put like a little finger grab? Now's the time to do it. And we're just going to keep continuing to do this, okay? So we're going to take off the tape. We're going to lay in the piece. We're going to move on to the next piece. I'm going to go ahead and do this, and I will be right back. Okay, so now we need to Okay, I got myself piece. confused. We're going to take off this tape, and we're going to tape it right there. 
Well, I may have screwed up this tape. No, I want every other one. But I was already committed. <laughs> Went to bed soon. Do your nose my pop. Yeah, I was a plan on plan life. Is that right? No. Okay. This way. Did I put the tape on wrong? If I put the tape on wrong, I'm a bonehead. See, it's nice having a person that made this in the chat. My little pencil marks probably were wrong. See, I said this part would be the most confusing part for me. It was right here. But I like how I did that. I'm very proud of my curve. I probably should have went here, there, here, there, there. I, mean, I have to peel the tape off. Well, I should have probably went here, there, 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 there. It's my first one. I'm backwards. So they should have been here, then there, 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 there. Instead of where they are, it should have been like this. I'm going to lay this way. Instead of having it here, I should have had it here. Am I right? Like right here, I should have had the tape. There. Tina's backwards. I am backwards. So y'all know that. I mean, if I have to, I'll just leave this on. I'll. Just, I mean, it's my. It's be like my prototype for Christmas, anyways. So I'd be like here. See, it's nice to have the person that made it in chat, guys. See, this is, this is like I said, this was the confusing part for me. That's why I thought, okay, I'll do the pencil marks. But now that I'm here, I know I did it wrong. I'm I, and I admit it, I did it wrong. I did it, oopsie. I'm going to back her video up and see what I did. I'm going to get these all taped up, and then I'll be right back. All right. All right. So I have these all taped up, and I was almost done with this, and I realized you guys can't see that red tape. So yeah, I, I this, now I'm see it. I should have had the tape there, so there, 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 there. Set these next to each other, and I'm going to make sure that the first tape is right there. So let me show you. I'm just going to open this. You can see. So you're going to put tape on every other piece. I went the wrong, every one. other wrong One, piece. two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh. Nothing on the okay. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Ding! My bad. So it should so be here. The way that we start this by taking here. 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 So this is a bad piece. Alright. So not to screw me up. I'm going to see. If I can peel it out leaving this sticky. A lot of times if I am good, I can peel the sticky up.
What I'm going to do, I am going to try to peel. Or I'm just going to cut. See, I got lucky. Oh, no, I did not. I'm just going to cut me two new pieces of red. It may not match, but I can start that over. See, this is a good prime example. It's not that color is not that far off either. So you can't even tell. So, and I made a book today. Well, not a book, book, book. Yeah. I took gum, the funky, this funky binder, and I, I wrote every female jigger directions off. So, you will need cardstock. So, I can cut this. I mean, you can't tell. That's a pretty good damn match. So, I'm just going to do these over. See? It's an oopsie. Oopsie doopsie. I mean, I want to put my pieces so I don't lose my pieces. I knew that when I, I said that was going to be a spot that was going to confuse me. And that's why I did the pencil marks and I still screwed it up. But I don't want to lose my pieces. So I'm actually going to put my pieces in my bag for now. Hold on. I'm holding on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yaddy, yaddy, Tina Louise. I'm going to put my pieces here so I don't lose my pieces while I'm cutting new pieces. So that was a Tina mistake, not a Bima mistake. That was a Mima. That was a me, me mistake. Okay, that's in there. All right. Oh, I'll just cut some. It's not a no big deal. They can see. I'm just trying to read how big these are. I can cut it. It's not that big a deal. We'll score it together. All right. Uh, you will need. Am I? Oh, I'm not even on the right one. Okay, now I am. Is that a paper for mats? I need. Mean, Two. Them would be the three and one fourth by two and seven eighths. Am I correct? I knew I screwed it. See, it's a oopsie doopsie. Two. Okay, I'm totally confused myself. Uh, nope. Four mat. Oh, that's mats. Okay. Okay. You will need our stock one and another and then my stock. I'm um, what? I'm right? Two, three, and one. I can't read. And the number one, two at three and one fourth. By two and seven eighths. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. <clears throat> I use my ruler instead of my scoreboard because I have a dummy ruler. Three and one fourth. What I mean by a dummy for ruler, it actually has. I love this ruler my son bought me. No, why? Do you want to join me? I can end this and we can start on StreamYard. I don't care. Everybody, I'll follow us over. Right, everybody? Put a thumbs up if you'd follow and then I'll go on the StreamYard. Uh, she wants to join me. I don't care. We'll have the hostess with the most. Oh my God, she's just there. Damn it. Holy Christ, woman, you scared the schuster right out of me. Woman. <laughs> Oh my God! You just scared the living bejesus out of me, woman. I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> let me see the original piece. Turn it around and bring it back down, please. Okay, put it on the on your desk. 
Yeah. So that now turn it towards you. That? Yep. Yeah, nope. Yeah. The one under your right on the right side. I mean right under your right hand. Yeah. The one that I want you to yeah. That one? Yeah. It's right. You just had it facing the wrong direction. Oh. The okay. turn it so the stripes are going sideways. Like this. Put a piece of tape back on it. Yeah. Other way. Other way. Let me put that tape back on there. Put the tape on and then turn. You had it right. Oh. <laughs> I said this was good. I said what I was doing. Hi, Vicky. Okay. So the, the, take the first take the first piece that goes in. Okay. Hang on. Hi everybody, by the way. Sorry. Fima's um, on <laughs> messenger. <laughs> she does this to me. Okay. Um, okay. All right. So take the first uh, flap that goes in. Mm -hmm. Now put it so that it's on the side without the tape. Nope. Other side. On your left side. Okay. On your other left. Christina. There you go. Now, yeah. Now, if you fold that over, like you're, yeah, if you were to open that tape and push it down, that's where you want to be, babe. So is this one... Oh. Yep. So this would go like this. Yes, ma'am. And over. Yes, ma'am. Oh, be damn. Got it? Got it. All right. So my pencil play. marks were right. Hi, Vicki. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> I am actually showing you right now, Vicki. <laughs> Except I have right. technical difficulties here. <laughs> Say goodbye now and just go back to watching the video. All right, bye. bye. <laughs> hey, at least you know who you bought it from. They make contact with you. Like I said, this was the uh, Bima's video, and that's my dyslexia. This is not about Bima. Oops, at all. This is just m m my dyslexia. <laughs> that's funny. No, no, stop, stop. <laughs> Turtles the hell out of me when she called me. So we want to be nice and line that up. The edge, I believe, like so. Oh, look at that. Ready, ready, ready. Woo! <laughs> Too funny. Yep. You recognize that, you know, okay, I have dyslexia. I have learning disabilities. I have adult attention deficit disorder, which is really weird because I never thought I had that. But you know your limits and you can recognize things when you're watching things. I knew this part would be my struggle. I knew that's why I thought, get out the pencil. I'm going to mark those spots. So I knew. <laughs> this is awesome. Oops, we got Ben. See that? This is so easy. <laughs> It's a tea cozy bag box bag box. And I went to put it together and I was confused. I confused me sale. So this is in Bima's Etsy store. She sells these. Plus she gives you a look. And guess what? She'll call you if you get confused. <laughs> it scared the shit out of you at four three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Here's her Etsy store. She's got some in there. I got a special one because I ordered a Christmas one. I wanted a Christmas one. <laughs> we said I didn't have to cut another piece. But hey, my red matched up pretty good. That is so simple. It's <laughs> Oh, what did I do? Oh, that's my one. I removed the tape. So, um, there we go. So, it's so simple. I'm a little buckled on that one, but that's the one I can. There we go. So cool. Boom. Turn me down. Uh, 
that down. La 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 la. I feel like this singing the Smurf song. This is it. It's a cute. When I was watching the video last week, I'm thinking this would be cute little Christmas gifts. You know, like your for your mailman relative that you just give something to because you know you nice but like I am with my in-laws my sister and brother-in-law we don't buy for each other but I always get we always give a little something and look at that mm -hmm. just you know and when I saw this I'm like I need to learn how to make this so I can make these I give my mailman one with a gift because I, you know what I'm going to do is I give my mailman a gift, Christmas gift every year because he's, I'm that type of person. I'm going to stick tea in it and then I'm going to stick his gift card to the local gas station because I always buy, buy a, my quick trip gift card to the gas station so they can swing in there and get a hot cup of coffee in the middle of winter. And I mean, it's got always, I, I give them that gift card because the gas station just right up through it. And I was like, da, 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 da. Put some tea in there. That just, okay, there we go. I might, oh, I bet I should have. I only had four pieces, so I probably could have made another one for it. Whew. I confused myself in all the, in everybody watching this, but hey, it was funny. So I, that was if I had the fifth piece, I'm taking it, right? Though there was only four. Yep. Yeah. I'll cut another one. There should have been five. All oh, right, I can cut one. See? Yeah? Oh, I only got four. Oopsie doopsie. So what is that piece called? That is the inserts. Every now and then you'll scroll better. You will need it. Five three and two. Okay, I read that last number. Five eighths, right? Three by three and five eighths. Okay. Yeah, I only had four. <laughs> I hope the other one's sitting right on the desk. So, three. Uh, no problem. We'll make one. Three. My son got me this ruler. Three by on. There are three by three, right? Every three not. Oh no. Three, yeah, five A's. Okay, five A's. Not th three by five eight. Yeah, I will have a small cutter. I always use my ruler first. I always use my ruler first. Because, and you're going to understand why, a lot of times I can't see the, with my eyesight, the little notches on here. I don't understand them. So, I always measure. And... So I ever pay, my son got me this ruler. This is why I like it. It has everything in it. Let me see if I can get it. Isn't that cool? So, I call it my dummy ruler. Oh, not going to get my big one. But yeah, I always measure with my ruler. Especially if I have to make these measurements. Yeah. Just, it's a Tina thing. Voila, you're done. 
It's a Tina thing. Okay. Oh, I think I did it too long. Did I cut that too long? I did cut it too long. How did I manage that one? <laughs> now I got it. I'm trying to mark the spot so I can match up the Punches. So, so what am I doing? Okay. Okie dokie, Smokey. There we go. Looks pretty good to me. Awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. You know what? I used to my fingernails and I grow them out, but I rarely wear nail polish. But I was making dragon eyes and pupils, so I painted my nails. Watch a beam on that. I met it back the other night. And I'll tell you, fingernails are handy. I was a nail biter. Bad nail biter. Bad. And it all went away. <laughs> it wasn't because all of a sudden I'm like, oh, well, I'm going to stop chewing my nails. No. They put me on society medication after my mom passed away. I said I made a comment. Of, I wish my mom could see my nails. Because my mom never seen me not chew my nails. It's weird. My Uncle Randy used to slap my hands when I was a kid. Stop it, he'd say. And when he came home a few years after my mom passed away, I'm like, hey, Uncle, I painted my nails. I went and had them nicely done. And, you know, he's like, them are fake. I'm like, no, them are mine. He's like, oh, my God, it took you 40 years? He's like, do you want to put, like, a little finger grab? Now's the time. Cool. All right. We're just going to keep continuing to do this, okay? I did it. I did it. We're going to lay in the piece. We're going to move on to the next piece. I'm going to go ahead and do this, and I will be right back. Okay, so now we need to cut some mats. She's cutting mats, which I already she had cut for me already. Okay? Because you're going to be putting a mat here, a mat here, a mat here, and a mat here. If you kind of line this up, you're already starting to see the shape that we're looking for. So, uh, these mats are going to be, you're going to cut two that are two and seven eighths by three and a quarter. And then you're going to cut three that are one and a quarter by two and seven eighths. You want to be mindful of pattern here. So, if you're using something that's a very definitive pattern, Watch the pattern when you're cutting this. I'm going to start by cutting my three and a quarter. And then my flat, my inside, top, so And front, then I'm going to cut two pieces, top, two and inside. seven eighths. And that is the line just before the three. Uh, oh, excuse me. And then I'm going to cut a piece that is two and seven eighths by one and a quarter. So I'm going to take this piece, put two seven eighths. Well, I'll know piece. next time what to do on this. And then that's what's the fun of this. Next one I make, it'll be boom, boom, bing. And I'm going to cut another piece that's one and a quarter. Should be. Yep, that's it right there. And then I just need to cut one more piece that is. Uh, Two and seven eighths by one and a quarter. So I just cut one strip that's two and seven eighths. 
Right. I have an idea for my so belly band. I meant to grab it. I have to grab it. And if we cut these right, we should have about an eighth of an inch all the way around. And we do. So I'm going to go ahead and round my corners front and back. And my top and bottom pieces inside and out. And then I am going to ink everything. Okay. And then I will be right back. So okay, five, 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 five. There we go. Coming around my corners. And we're gonna ink. I'm gonna use vintage photo, my favorite one. I don't know why I have the rest of his colors because I never really use the other colors. I always use vintage photo. I wrote, cool, 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 Ads. I think it just when you round the corners or some sort of thing on the corners. I always think it just adds to it. I think it this makes it tidy. I guess what I'm saying. I gotta get this just photo, and I'm gonna grab that item I want. If I can find it, I can't find it. Oh, we'll go to it next time. Oh, oh. I probably should be on Christmas. I don't want to do that. What? Yeah, I'm not going to worry about it. I want to keep you all waiting because I don't know where I put it. So, but I had an idea for the belly band. Besides, I'll be my dead it. I don't want to go digging. But I'll explain where I would have did it. Okay, vintage photo. Yeah. I love this new paper pad. Love the truck. Love the truck. I haven't bought this paper pen myself, actually. It's down on the floor, right down there. This is how well my friend at Michael's knows me. She's like, Tina, put a paper pad for your side. And I felt bad because I had no intention of buying a paper pad at all when I went into Michael's. She had this paper pad set aside for me. <laughs> Trish, did you get my text? And I'm like, <coughs> when I look and I had a text from her, hey, paper pads in. She asked me about because when Bima showed hers, I got a hold of her. And she goes, I didn't see it come in. And that day, the, the next day, the truck came in and it was there. So she pulled one for me. Nice to have a friend once in a while. Well, she felt bad for me. Because I went looking for something or, and they had it in store. And I'm like, and she knows I don't thrive. And I was telling her, she goes, why are you back here? I'm like, your sales. 
day before told me you didn't have them. She goes, are you kidding me? Oh my God. So. I'm gonna do this little circle right away. Get that done with. Okay. All right. I can put that away. facing up and the small corner rounded edge on your left, you're going to start placing these. Okay? So you're going to have one piece, the rounded edge, and you have your top piece, and you're going to place a piece here and a piece over here. So you just need to glue these down, and we will move on from there. Okay, so it's pretty easy stuff here, guys. Easy, Boom! Easy. Okay. Oh, I'm crooked. Thank God for glue. Quick enough to pick it back up and do it again. Voila. Oh, it's pretty good. This one. I love that joke. It's my first Christmas I'm doing in October, but I asked for this. I wanted a Christmas one. I went to the Christmas and she said, Looks good. Well, I moved that one. I flattened it out so I'll fix that. I too uh, hyped it up there for a second. Uh. 
Oh, one side's lower than the other. There we go. That looks good. All right. Eight pieces. I decided to leave the uh, top square. Oh. Oops. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on here. Be mindful if you're using scrapbook paper and not cardstock. That's all right, though. Probably a better idea not to glue these and uh, oh. just tape them down. But it is a matter of choice. Oh, my God. I got them upside down. Right. Oops. Oops. Top and bottom, side to side. My bad. Nobody's seen that. I wasn't paying attention. Well, I got it peeled up real quick. Real fast. I never know I did that. Oh, almost lost it. Remember, if you got a print on it, make sure, like I did on this one, that you lay them out right. I'm fixing it right now. You'll never even know. Quit acting. Quit action. I'll never know why I did that. Um, okay. All right. I wasn't there. So that's a me. That's not a Bima. That was a Tina. All right. Oops, I dropped it. I dropped it. I dropped it. I dropped it. Wind that up there. Oh well. I'm a little off kilter here. Just a smidgen. Just a smidgen. Okay. Top's fine. Back is fine. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Can't believe I did that. It's all good. It's all good. I thank God this one's mine. Come on, Tina. Line her up here. There we go. Excuse me. <laughs> All right. Boom. 
I'll tidy one that the picture that stayed down. Yeah, the way I did that. Alright, you can't even tell. Cool! There we go! Looks cool. Alright. Alright. My band. Next one. Now, if I was using a magnet, I would have put the magnet first. But I'm not going to use a magnet on this one. I'm going to put the magnet It too, you could have gone through beforehand and inked all of these folds, but to be honest with you, the ink is going to thin the paper out a little bit, and you're going to weaken the joint, so I wouldn't do that. Now I'm going to flip the whole thing over, I'm going to take the last remaining piece, it's going to go right here on the inside of that flap with the rounded corners, this one's going to go right here. Okay. Now, again, if I was using magnets, I would have put the magnet down before I used before I put the paper down. But since I have decided on this one, I'm going to be using the hook and loop, loop tape uh, to show you how that works. Since that's the most common way of doing this, um, I decided to forego that. So now, at this point, we're going to go ahead and bring back in our piece, which is the exact same size as the back of the box. So we're going to put some glue on this. I do not recommend using tape on this portion because this is going to have some strain on it. So I recommend that you use glue or glue and tape. And you're going to do these two flaps first. And you're going to line them up, one side and then the other. What I do is look to line up my fold right here, top and bottom, and right to the edge. And once I'm sure I have that, I just kind of press it for a second, hold it, holding the other side up. And then I bring it to the other side. I kind of push that down. And then you can come in here with a flat bone folder, you can press those down. You're going to give it just a few seconds to dry. And just hold it down. So once that dries, we're going to come back and put our glue. We're going to put glue on both sides here. Now this part's a little tricky because as you fold in and you push down, the accordion has the tendency to drop. So you just want to make sure that you line that up. Bring that little fold out and then line up the other side with the fold on the outside. This is where clamps come in real handy if you have them. 
Oh, you stinker. Bone poker. And I kind of push that one up. And I pinch that one and I clamp this as well. Okay? Okay. Okay. Get my hands on it. There we go. That one. And then we'll go over and work the other side. And again, what we're looking to do is use a bone folder or scissors or whatever you've got to kind of push this piece out to the edge, clamp it, grab the bottom, pull oh, that out sliding on me. the edge. Stop sliding. Get in there with that bone folder and push it out. Oh, clippy. Not an easy task. Clamp. So you're just going to let this dry. So we're going to give it a few minutes to dry and I'll be right back. All right. We take off our clamps. We have the basis for our box. Now, if you're going to use the hook and loop tape, put this in here real quick so this is dry on me. So if you're going to use hook and loop tape, um, I recommend you use the really small hook and loop. Oh, we're going to pass. Got it. Looking good. Looking good. That's it. Try a little bit. That was tricky. I can see where she said that. But I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm so happy I got it. I'll let you know in real life, this probably would not take 117 minutes. So, but you know, try a little bit longer here and then I'll pull it. I was a little off on one side, but not bad. So I'm seeing it now, but it's not very noticeable. Might correct itself too, so we'll see. Cute, cute. Put that down. And this is what she's a little pretty much bigger in here, so I'm gonna get this out. I like these little bits. Hello, Stephanie. How are you? Just saw the notification. All right, this should be driving up. I'll give it a few more minutes. I'm making her little tea cozy, she's calling it. Tea cozy. I'm letting it dry till the next step. I got, I think, three steps left. Four steps, possibly. A little mix up, but. God, that worked out. That was funny. She scared the Vima called me. She scared the living shit right out of me. Oh, she startled me. I wasn't expecting that. I'm looking at chat, reading her chat, and next thing I know, messengers ringing. Scared me. Ah. See, I've never done that. Is something I've never done was oil painting. I've seen all your goodies. I liked your blue moon, by the way. I didn't know they sold that at Michael's, by the way. I, was, I must have been shopping in the wrong section of Michael's. <laughs> My daughter drinks that. I didn't care for it. <laughs> I saw that and I started giggling. I was going to leave a comment, but somebody else beat me to it. I was like, ah. I didn't care for the taste of it. My daughter likes that. I didn't like it. But I'm not a beer drinker or the like wine cooler flavored drinker person. You know what I mean? I just, I don't even like Corona. I like my wine and I drink a local, well, it's local in Wisconsin. It's Door County, Wisconsin winery really makes really good wine. So.
All right, these should be dry. Like I said, good investment is to see these little clippies at your local Dollar Tree. Pick your guys up. Pick a set up. I picked up two sets, so I'm thinking they come in. Let's see. Four or six. Wait, how many do I got here? I know I bought two sets. So they must be two, four. They must come in a set, set of six because I got six, 12 in here. So it's a good investment to pick these up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just saying. Alrighty. Next spot. Which you can get at uh, about any craft store. This stuff does come in a couple of sizes. If you can't find it, let me know. I'll send you a couple. No big deal. Oh, so what you're going to do is you're going to take one set of these. And you're just going to... They just look like little Velcro dots. Which I can't get the plastic off. Damn. There's Adhesives are strong on this one. There we go. I got it. And there's. Okay. So these are sticky bags. So you're going to find that spot up here that you like. Oh, that looks good right there. Oh, a little off. And you're just going to drop this on there. I'm just going to drop now, if you're it. using glitter paper like this, try to avoid the glitter or scrape that glitter off because you know glue does not stick to the glitter. And then you're just going to place this by taking the other piece, putting it on, taking off the protective back, Mine didn't catch. And then you're going to take this and find the square. You're going to press that down. Press it down. Hold it. Then go inside and give it a pinch. Okay? Now you put your fastener on there. Now, if you want to use a belly band, you should have Puff. a piece that's about an inch and three quarters. Stick. Mine won't stay. Hang on, I gotta work it just a little bit. I am going to put it in there. I'm gonna stick this in there, kind of weird. Nope. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, let's well, see. I'm press this down. I'm gonna square it up. Do a little press, maybe. Uh-huh. Now I got it to stay. There we go. Boom. Boom shakalaka. Voila. My side of this keeps coming up. I have to glue this. Look at it. Ooh, ooh. The side coming up. A little glue. Through that idea. There we go. Put it down. Stay down. There we go. So that stays down. Now we got her. Oh. All right. Next section. Belly band. There's an inch and a half left. All you're going to do is place this at the front, just below the flap. And you're going to finger crease this, or finger score, around the box. Trying not to compress the box. Should have a substantial amount left. So once you have that, just make sure you've got creases in there and that they're straight. Oh. Okay. Give them a press. Okay, I gotta get these marked. Here we go. There it is. I'm gonna finger press that one right there. Okay. 
that should be there we go and then just kind of set it around your box overlap your two pieces and then i kind of look at this and kind of figure where the middle mark is and i just kind of put a little mark there so that's about middle for me so i'm going to cut that piece off Okay. And again, I'm just going to dry fit. It's beautiful. Beautiful. I'm put some glue on here. That's good. All right. And I'm going to bring my two ends together. And I'm not going to press down on this, okay? I don't want to press this down so that I can't get it off of here. Slide the box out. And now I can all the pressure I need to on here, okay? Now, once I have this, I can decorate this any way that I want. All right, so I have another. I just want this to be a little bit thicker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Bill it in. All right, and in this piece, and line this up like so. Go ahead and put some glue on the back here. But I want to do something, so I was going to find it. I'm determined now. I am determined. Now that I got it, I don't think it's going to work because what I was going to do is I was going to wrap the truck, but it's going in a weird direction. And I think that'll look lame. So, <clears throat> I got me some washi tape that I didn't even use from last year. I got it as a gift. And I thought this one. Well, I, just that pattern. So even the washi tape would look weird going wrong direction. So I'm just going to add me. It's not as wide as I would like, but we're going to use it. Give it a little bit of flare. Get it going. And I'm going to start right. 
Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. See? I'll be right back. Actually, I'll get up my other Christmas washi. I just looked over by the corner man, like, why aren't you grabbing your other washi? Oh, okay. So let's see. I love the buffalo print at Christmas. I guess the black or the red. We're going to see which one looks good. <coughs> and determine. I think the fact that there's a lot of red, I'm going to use the black. What was that? And I want this right here. It's a little wider, and I think it looks better. And I'm just going to start it right at that little mark. The center. But that's about. And I'm just going to go around. Try to make it look as center as possible. These are said than done. There we go. And boom. And snip. And I am off. Way off. Okay. So. See, I think if I had did, thought of this, I would have did the washi and then glued it. So then I could have lined it up better. But that's all right. We'll figure it out. Just little hints and tricks. Maybe bring this down. There we go. Hi, Nidia. And I'm just going to bring this up. And boom. There we go. Reform my belly pan. Looks good. Now, take my glue. This is BMO's kit she had a while ago. And I asked for one. And she's made me a truck one. I wanted a Christmas one. Because I'm going to be making these as little Christmas presents for like my mailman. Some relatives you just want to give a little something to. You know, thank you, or just a little, maybe friend mail. I don't you know. Just a little, little something. My plan is, is I thought it'd be cute for my mailman. I give my mail people Christmas gifts. But, man, I got to get something here. Because I'm hoping that. It will also fit. Yes. Gift card. So that's what I was thinking for my mailman. It's a gift card. So I buy my, my mailman a gift card for a local gas station. But this is what BMO did. Boom. Dang it. Sorry. I got a cold, guys. And then I get that dry spell. So what Mama did, and I don't have them, is she had put some teas. I'm just grabbing random tea bags here. See? Teas. She put sugar packets in the back of hers. Well, I don't have them. She might have. I'm not sure. So it's a tea cozy. <coughs> Excuse me. But my intention, like I said, at Christmas, when I give it to my mailman, I'm going to stick his gift card in there as well. He does use them. Scott says me all, all his gift cards. Expired gift cards for me for mixed media. So stick that like that. Closes up. 
This is cute. Even for my mishaps. It wouldn't be a Tina video if it was a mishap. I'm just letting you know. And voila. Ta-da! Cute. I did not... I, thank God for Bima on the other end of the phone because I was confused. Like, I knew... I knew exactly, and I called it where I was going to be confused. And that's the... Uh, I do that in a journal, too. You know, when you make that... Quarter in fold. I've done it in journal, so I knew... That's where I was going to get the confusion. That's why I did the pencil mark. But I did it right. But I just laid it out wrong. So I was pretty satisfied with myself there, actually. So. But that is the tea cozy. And she does have some in her store. Ooh, several snow likes to punch. She's a lady. So cute, cute. I'm very happy with it. Even for my mishaps. So cute. Make awesome Christmas presents. I'm going to link where you guys can go find these and be my Etsy store. She has some. They aren't Christmas, just so you know. I asked for a special one. There is be my Etsy store. And if you don't know who she is, here is her channel. Oh. So cute. Cute idea. Awesome idea. I made, I don't know, um, I don't have any right now, a tea holder, but it was nothing like that. It would only fit like two tea bags, so this was cool. I missed all the BMOS Halloween sales. Aww. I got a few items of Halloween. I threw back in my Halloween bin. Um, that I will uh, save for next year. I have heads, resin pieces, not a lot. Um, yeah. Been hoarding this ribbon. I guess we a red truck. That's what I was gonna put there, but I thought it would look odd that the truck was running in a different direction. Now it was like this, but it would be, can't do. Yeah, I thought that. I'm glad I did the washi tape instead, though. Because I think it looked odd. Wouldn't that have looked odd? Let's picture that. I think that would have looked odd. Going around. And then coming down underneath. I think it just would have looked weird. Imagine that. I think it would have looked odd. So... Hi, Jennifer. So this is the tea cozy. It's in Bima's Etsy store. We did it! Woo! Even, even I got a first hand direction. Even if she scared the living bejesus out of me. The next one I will be doing is actually this month's. Where did I set it? Don't. I'll have to check real quick. Where did I put it? I had it. And I'm like. And this one's cool. I can't wait to do this one. Also, I'll watch dollar videos because if you don't feel well, you watch videos. And this. And I'm waiting for Joe because Joe bought this too because Joe wants to do this with me. So I have to get a hold of Joel and see what day she wants to do that. Let's see. Monthly kit projects. These are sold out. So I don't know if she um, has, will get any more of these in. But you could do this with, you know, what's in this kit. I'll show you it real cute. So if you guys want to do this along. Not sold out? Oh. Okay, not sold out. I'm in, your, I'm in your store. 
love the kit. I don't see it. Oh, did you get more in? More stickers in? I know you said you were running low. Oh, no, right there. My bad. You know, she she didn't have it labeled. She has monthly project kit. Fox Vintage Calling Cards. $3 in sh plus shipping. But these are cool, guys. I'll show you real quick. So if you're interested, here this is. So if you want to go in and pick yourself one up. My bad. Wrong one. I looked in at the wrong one. If you want to go pick your up a facet, you get this rub on transfer stickers. I bought Bima gave me a set. I bought a set. But um vintage or T or I call it shabby, cheeky. But you get see I got my stuff together because I started cutting and then I stopped. You get she'll do your name, whatever you want you want. She did Tina Massey in its second set. I got Tina's Crafty Life. Then you get the cards. Oop, right here. And you make little calling cards. I think this is so cool. And Joel wanted to do this with me. So Joel bought a set or a set. I don't know if she bought both or just one. But whatever. But um, if you guys were interested, go over and buy a set. And we could do it together. And I'm going to see if we can plan this one day next week. Or maybe the end of this week. But it's kind of cool. So that is the Etsy store right there. And in BMOS Etsy store, you go. Whoops. I just closed her out. You go all the way. It says items. You go all the way to the end. It says monthly project kits. And it's the first one on there. How did I miss that? I don't know. This is my eyes. Um. Monthly project kick October. There we go. You know what it is? Is I did her canvas fall journal. I keep thinking that's October's kit and it's not. So this is in the store. She has September's kits in the store. She also has August kit and she also has the one, the little tea cozy yet. So go over and pick them up. Easy peasy little kits. I love doing these. I can't wait for. November. I really hope can't wait for Christmas too. I love enjoy I love I enjoy doing these little kits. Very affordable. She does videos. She even gives you the measurements so you can make more. But I think to support BMI you should buy the kit. You're gonna look for Halloween. What are you looking for for Halloween? So cute. I can't wait. But I have to wait for Joel because Joel, her, Joel bought these to do these with me. So I can't get ahead of her. And I watched that video t today, too. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yes. I'm going to discuss. I'm going to talk about this. Bima is doing a special class for November's kit. I cannot wait. This is I'm looking forward to this. Um, It is going to be. Harry Potter ornaments. So, I I strongly recommend this. She kind of told me about it, and it's saw, and I was like, oh my god, I can't wait to do this. So, I highly recommend it by November's. It's gonna be awesome, guys. And my daughter's a huge Harry Harry Potter fan, and it was so funny. She says, you know, mom, can you do my Cause I made, I'll show you. Oh, I'll go get my project I made for Diamond a Day. Y'all know that I did the Hocus Pocus book for Diamond. That's it. Well, she's like, can you do me another project, Mom? Yeah, that's what Diamond's told me today. 
because after I got this last project for her done, I said, now what am I going to do for you? She goes, I want to do a Harry Potter Christmas tree. And she sent me this video. And I started laughing at, actually, we were on Messenger. She goes, what's funny? And I'm like, nothing. She goes, what? I'm like, nothing. Because I don't want to tell her that I'm doing your November kit because I'm going to surprise her. I'm going to give it to her before Christmas so she could put it on her tree. But to know this year she's not doing Jack and Sally, she's doing Harry Potter. It's funny. But y'all know I did this focus, focus book. So then I'm going to ask me to make this candle. She's like, Mom, if I pick up a candle, will you do this? And, well, my candle thing was low down. It's the black flame or whatever from a stupid movie or something. I don't know. So what I did is I stuffed um, tissue paper down so that you could see the flame. Because my the this candle it's one of those tea light things down on the bottom, but it wasn't high enough so you couldn't see the flame. So I did this, and I don't know what's with this image. She says it's from something, but and that's what she, that was today's project for Diamond. But which is hanging? I forgot black flame or something. She told me it's called, but yeah. That's my last thing. Halloween for my daughter. It's really pretty when it's lit in the dark. But yeah, the flame is halfway down. You can kind of see the difference. But I told Diane, I'm, I'm going to try to work. And then said maybe the tissue paper is a little too thick. So if you take the tissue paper out, it goes a little better up on the top. So now I'm sitting here going, how can I... So Scott suggested I cut a piece of cardboard the size of the candle in here and try to glue it to see the flame in the bottom. Oops. It just, you can't see it. Yeah, get that effect. So we were trying to figure this out besides tissue paper because I lost the half the light by shoving the tissue paper down just to somehow get this one sitting in there so it looks like that two that's where i'm in with that one right now i had to quit because it gave me a headache so i thought maybe not shove the tissue paper it's just to hold this so i, I thought and this is my brainstorm that I'm going to take the candle. I don't know if it's going to work. I'm just going to wrap and keep wrapping until I get it filled up enough. Because I can't glue it in there because she has to shut this one off. So, and then where is my cake? This is my, okay, hang on. See, I'm working on another project already. Take my tape. Yeah. Don't have to be neat, but yeah. I'm using what I have. I'm a cheapskate. But that's my goal. Plan. This is what I thought of when a brain sleeping. So I'm just going to wind it to chat. That is like, because I didn't find a scene that does go all the way around, so it's going to be on the shelf anyways. This is Scott's game. Said, I'm just going to wind it so that it's as thick as the candle. We we priced the candles where the flame was higher. Oh my god, crazy! This one candle where this flame was up higher was fourteen bucks. Yeah, so I was like, nope. We'll use what you got, mom. You'll come up with a solution. She was okay even with the flame being down low, and yeah, but you. Like, that's crazy for something 
she knows I'll take her out in one way or the other. That's not expensive. 14 bucks for one candle? I didn't pay 14 bucks for that. I think that was crazy. I mean, I was like, that's crazy. I thought it was too high. <laughs> I'm like, oh, hell no. And this is my solution. Because I shoved, except then I lost, realized I lost the light. So this is what I thought. I got this. I got this. And then she can. Diamond's like, Mom, you always. Diamond says, she's, she goes, Does your mind ever stop? That's what she said to me today. Does your mind ever stop? And I'm like, No, that's why I don't sleep. And I try to use what I have in my house, you know. If I have it, why buy it? I can find a solution. That's my logic in that one. You know. Half the stuff she has, like I didn't know. I knew about the Hocus Pocus movie. This scandal? I have no idea. I don't even know if I saw ever watched the Hocus Pocus movie with Beth Midler. Because you no, know, I said, see, because I can't stand Jessica Parker, so I doubt I even watched that movie. See? There we go. You just you can just bring the candle up just a little bit, and you still have the flame going on the whole thing. Boom, done, awesome. See, that don't look cool. I mean, it doesn't. It's not bad. But then the flame is not, you can still see the inside. Yeah. That's cool. But that's today. And then she just pulls this out, pushes that up, and shoves it back in there. Boom. And then just kind of pulls it up a little bit. There we go. Still have the black flame, and it don't look that tacky because it's going to be sitting on a shelf, anyways. That's that. Boom, done. <sighs> but definitely go check out BMO's Crafty Corners channel, BMO's Crafty Corner Etsy store. Check out her little kits. They're very inexpensive. I think her kits to me are very affordable. They're, and she does videos with them. Even if, if I was going to, me, sometimes get confused with it. But you know, if you do, you saw it. If you watch earlier, you're going to laugh because she scared me. And if you're having an issue and you're like, what am I doing wrong? Just contact her. She'll walk you through it. You, you'll hear it in the video. She, she reached out. She knew I was struggling on a spot. And I was going to make new pieces because I literally did something because I knew when I watched the video. I watched her videos earlier before I come on to do the videos here. And I knew exactly where I was going to struggle. I know my limits. So I did little pencil marks. And I hear I thought I did it wrong, and I actually did it right. I just had them turned wrong. That's all it was. I cannot wait for November's kit. So watch, go over, subscribe to her if you are not subscribed to her already. So you can check out this Harry Potter kit. So you can make these ornaments. If they are going to be so cool. I cannot wait. Wait. I even asked her how much it is, so I have the money. So stoked to do it with her. I cannot wait. And. Check out her channel. Check out her Etsy store. And she has these left. She has October's kit left. So give her a shout out. Like to, like her and Laura say, go pee on each other's porches. I laughed my butt off when I heard that for the first time. I'm trying to figure out what else. And me and Joel are going to, I'm going to have to get a hold of Joel because I really want to get them done. See what day she's free that we can do them. Because hers were being mailed out. She should have got it a day or tomorrow. Today. Or yesterday or today. She should have them by now, I imagine. Um, What else? Hi, babe. Did you know what happened to that magnifying glass that was over my desk? Nope. Hey, I'm live. Probably fell down, but cat was up there the other day. I heard a clink, clink, clink. 
It's probably sitting on the floor and you just can't see it. Yeah. The hubby's home tonight. Did you hear him just swear on my channel? Sassy man. Can't find his magnifying glass. It's probably on the floor and he can't see it because he's as blind as me, I swear to Lord. But you know what? He's not as blind as me. It's called the Mendes. What? Nothing. <laughs> Get in and look now. I probably could walk out there half blind and find it. Yeah, well, <laughs> we love each other. Seriously, video. Oh, I gotta show you what I added to my bones and stone book. I'm I, I am loving this, okay? I already got I added my tarot cards today. I'm really a freak right now. I've literally bought these when I saw people. <laughs> like, yes. So my little box has got it all, man. Somebody walks in my house, they're gonna think, what is Tina really into? I already got it. <laughs> so, got my tarot cards in my box now. I don't think I'm missing anything. I mean, I got my runes. I got my bones. I got my little pouches. <laughs> got my bat's blood. <laughs> got my voodoo. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything else I can add to my box. But Savannah's... Savannah, Diamond's friend, Savannah's... Saw that. She showed her mom. Her mom wants this the box. She don't want all this extra. She just wants me to make her box. And she's a and she's a witch. She was like, Oh my god, I want that box. I'm like, you want she goes, I don't want the fingers on it. I don't want the plastic spiders. I just want you to do the box. Do it with the spider web. So she'll go pick up a box. So I have another one. Her goddaughter never showed up to, with her box to do a hocus pocus and I'm one of these. I'll freely do them if they buy the box because I have the supplies. It's not going to cost me. So I told them a 12 pack of Pepsi and we're good. But, um, mineral rocks. Yeah. Mineral rocks. But, um, <clears throat> I'm not going to go out of my way to reach out to them and say, hey, when are you dropping that box off? Because my thought is, hey, I am doing it practically for what you're paying for the box. You know, I'm not charging them because it's in all their friends. But I ain't going out of my way to reach out to them to see when they're, hey, when are you dropping that box off? Hey, you know. A pendulum. A pendulum. Yeah. I just think it's funny. I can't wait till uh, somebody walks in my house and goes, it's not like I get a lot of company. I purposely want to get some. I, <laughs> I said to Scott. <laughs> I said this guy, I really want somebody to come and try it. Sell, you know, sale person at my door and come in and try to sell me something and see my bones and stones box on my, because I have this sitting out in my living room. I only grabbed it to show you. I put my tarot cards in it. <laughs> and um, have them be like sit at my coffee table and they see, and I'll, I'll, I'll be like, oh, can you hang on a second? Let me do my reading. And then I watch it and open my box up. <laughs> That is one thing I've never had done is had tarot cards read to me or my fortune read to me or future read to me or however. I've always wanted to do it, but I've never did it. And I don't know why I haven't. Because I was talking to, who was I talking to? I'm a Christian. Just for fun, yeah. Um, my grandma, this thing. What is this thing? My great grandmother, and it was in my childhood house. Where is it? This thing, the Uvi board, or or you know what that is? My great grandmother had one, and I found it in the basement. My grandfather was freaked out. I don't know what ever happened to it, but he told me never to play with it. And I'm like, what is this, Grandpa? I brought it upstairs. And he's like, where'd you find that? And it was his mother's. They thought it was. So, I don't know. It's probably still there. Yeah. He's like, you don't play with that. My great-grandmother, I found out later on, was a big believer about talking to the spirit. So, 
Yep. And my grandpa told me I was young. I probably was eight when I found it. But when uh, when you get older, you realize things. And I'm like, he said his mother would. He said his mother was funny. She would church on Sunday, but a Ouija board on Wednesday. That is a Ouija board on Wednesdays. Oh, I like, really? And he goes, yeah. She was reaching out to loved ones. That's why she did it. Okay. So, yeah, I thought that out. But it's just a toy. Yeah. But I back back and you know, I don't you're talking my grandfather. He would be a hundred and oh man, how old would my grandpa would be today? 125 years old if he was alive today. So back 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 then, I was probably in when his thing era, you know. And they had told me to steal the kids, but I was like, no, I'll sleep alone alone. Some people make it out to be more than that. Yeah, yeah. See, I don't believe in. I think okay, I believe in ghosts. I'll be honest with you, I believe in ghosts, but I don't think ghosts. If they want to see. A ghost or a spirit wants you to know that they're around. They'll let you know. You don't need a board to do it. So. Yeah. I once we sat one of my ex-boyfriend's guns in spirit school. They had two-story house. And they told me it's. See the pool. It was haunted. That would be my dream. I mean, look at. I've been reading this book. Oh my god. This is the bombest book I've ever bought in my entire life. I've been trying to read this for five years. Ghost. See? It actually holds my tablet up at the moment. But look how sick this book is. Look at this with my spray. By the time I'm done reading it, it'll look really cool when I tear, tear it apart. But yeah, I've been reading The True Encounters Beyond, with the world beyond. And I even lost my bookmarker, so I'll have to figure out where I, read, where I lost the pages. But I went to a rubbish sale. <laughs> Six blocks from the house. Walking back and forth here during my list of videos. Oh, damn. And uh, I bought a set. To, we have the Veterans Arena, and they held the, like a rummage sale inside it during March. And I walked onto it. Well, my son walked with me. <laughs> he had to help me carry this book back six, six bucks. But that's cool. And I still, I, should, I haven't read it in a while. Because it's a lot to take. What's this author? Oops, I got this upside down. It is Holzer. 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 But I saw this. I thought it was the coolest thing. Haynes Holzer. When was this published? Well, it was copyrighted 1997 by one company. He was copyrighted it in 1920. So this is, and now I know it's not original. The nature of life and death, what every world the ghost hunter should know, ghost in the world. What exactly a ghost, famous ghost. I mean, <laughs> but so, and see, be the fact it's so small print. Yeah. I think I'm like halfway through the fur, like right about here. I can't find my marker. I had a marker in here, but I'll figure it out when I that I'll start over. But it's kind of cool. The house of ghost of Bensville. But my big dream is to go sleep in a haunted castle. I think it would be cool. The secrets. Oh, I think it'd be awesome. More mystic photographs taken by the Wiley House staff. I wonder, the Winchester House in here? That's my dream. 
I want to go to the Winchester house. I never looked. California ghost story. Whistling. Let's see. This house is haunted. Famous ghost. Confederate house ghost. Stranger of the Fifth Avenue. You too? Yeah. I'd love to go to the Winchester house. Not listed. Well, I bet you the reason it's not in here. And I bet you why. I just figured it out. You figured the first time this was in print, she probably was still alive. 1920. Yeah, that's probably why it's not in here. 1920. First publication, 1920. And then it was republished in 1997. So that's probably why it's not in here. My boyfriend has some friends from work to go go something. Oh, cool. See, I like people think I'm strange. I love cemeteries. I am not scared of cemeteries. I'm happy to go through a cemetery. They don't freak me out. I can go to a cemetery one o'clock in the afternoon or four or two o'clock in the morning. I love cemeteries. I love walking cemeteries. I like reading the stones, figuring out how long this person, when this person died. I, love, I wish, you know, you see that cool stone. I like the old stones, wondering what their story was, especially, you know, especially when you get in the old, old cemeteries, especially Milwaukee, Wisconsin, beautiful cemeteries, old cemeteries. I'd get busted there. If only they put me to work. I got, when my grandfather was in the hospital, in the VA hospital in Milwaukee, I'd go down on the weekends, and the VA hospital was like, if you ever go to Milwaukee, you have the Brewer Stadium over here, and over here is this, use this, be like the Brewer Stadium, and then over here is this pretty, pretty park. The VA hospital's right here, but the old cemetery's like here, and it's all surrounded, and the new VA hospital's up here, but all through this park in the cemetery, was the first VA hospital and nursing home, and it was beautiful. So when my grandfather would take his nap, I'd go walk this park. I got the cops called on me or security half a dozen times, and they're like, they'd be like, what are you doing? You know, how old, you see a 15, 14 year old kid walking around cemetery, you figure they're gonna cause damage. No. I, told the mill, I remember telling the security guy, I said, my grandpa's at the VA hospital, he's taking a nap. I'm just reading, going around looking at headstones. And I think that's where fascination started because security people and the workers at the saw me one afternoon where I was flicking out the moth on the stone so I could read the date. There are so many headstones there. They can't keep up cleaning them. And they're like, want to do us a favor? And I'm like, what's that? You're walking, looking at stones. I'm like, yeah. He goes, what if I give you some a brush, a toothbrush and some water? in a spray and if we're walking around you see a stone that needs to be clean will you clean it i'm like sure i mean i had that summer was awesome met some fascinating people old timers that were in because the old hospital they made it into a living assistance and you'd see the old timers out there fascinating stories and there was a guy that volunteers walks people around he told me so many stories Yeah, this is, yeah, very beautiful, old stones. I saw how they fix them, because I saw, I learned how to fix stones if they broke or had a crack. They took me down in that area where this, I mean, it's all volunteered to do that. So I learned how to paste the stone back together. I mean, it was so cool. So my grandpa, downfall of grandpa being in the hospital, I'd take a bus down to go see him. I'd stay for a couple, a week. I'd sleep in his hospital room, eat, eat at the hospital. So, you know, it's 15 years old, you get bored. My grandpa would be like, where are you going? I'm like, I'm going over to the vet center. Okay. Because they had a vet center. I'm going to the cemetery by the vets. A lot of the vets were volunteering, maintaining the cemetery. It was cool. I just liked it. 
Matter of fact, I told me and Scott will be out in the bottom, like, oh, cemetery. And he'll be like, all right. And we'll drive through the cemetery and I'll look at stones. I love doing the rubs. I don't, you know, I asked permission to do, be able to do that. Now I usually, think, if I see a little stone, I'll take, it to, take a picture, but I won't share it on my YouTube channel because I think it, I don't think it's my right to share a pretty stone, an old stone with you out of respect for people's family. So I'll never do it. Because I always say to my son, you want to get make money? Walk cemeteries. You get a lot of views on cemetery videos. But when me and Scott, um, I laughed, we were on vacation in Tennessee for rendezvous. And we're driving in a town and I look over. In the middle of this cow field, there's a little square with a fence around it. And it was headstones. And then on the side of the road, there was a section of headstone. So I stopped to take pictures of it. And the guy at the field across from me, the farmer, saw me take pictures because they were so close to the road. I mean, they were like this. Here's the road and here's me and Scott's car. And this couple of six, seven headstones were like right here. And I'm like, well, wow, weird, you know. So I stopped and read them, took pictures of them. The guy across the field saw me, came over, talked to me. They can't, they can't move those headstones. He made, he makes sure they don't get wrecked. So he was wondering what I was doing. I'm like, oh, I said I'm fascinated with the old headstones. He goes, you want to see the ones in the field? I'm like, sure. He goes, oh, let me move the cows. And I'm like, oh hell no, you don't move the cows. He's gonna look at me. He goes, what? I said I'm from Wisconsin. I'm a farm girl. The cows, cows, don't, cows don't scare me. They're, they're probably, I, so. He let me go in that little cemetery in the middle of this call field that he had. He protects by a, a fence. He doesn't even know who the people are. And then on the, um, we had a cemetery on the property I took pictures of too. And then when we were down in Florida for living history, we were on a plantation. That one was hard for me because when I fought the plantation, we were on the plantation land, which was privately owned, and I didn't know. They didn't tell us, so I took a walk one day. I found the slave quarters. I found this old cemetery, and I found the slave cemetery. That one was hard. But the guy that came across me realized where I was because I was dressed in my stuff, and he told me stories. His and it was his ancestry's home. That one, that the slave cemetery. That one was like wow, because I never thought I'd see that. You don't see that. This is a side you don't see. But I was lucky he let me. Fascinating. I mean, it was fascinating, but it made you think how some of them just had an initial in a year. Yeah. But he keeps it up. I said, are you open this to public? And he said, no. He doesn't open it to public. He rents like the, for the rendezvous. He knew the... the where our rendezvous was, what I mean is our living history. Um, his friend needed land. The place he had booked, canceled. So he knew the guy with the plantation. And he sectioned off the section we could use. But I didn't know that I couldn't walk up to the big plantation. <laughs> Leave it to me. But yeah, it was fascinating. You have one in New York? Yep. I remember when I went to South Carolina. I saw where they sold slaves. And there were, there was I mean, it's sad, but it was awesome to know the history behind it. I, you know, I'm a history buff, so I I'm not the like, let's go to the amusement park. I like museums. I like seeing history. I'm a history buff. I like visiting history. But, and then I want to know where cemeteries are. The first thing I said when we were supposed to go was it last year or oh, year before, and it fell through. But we were supposed to go Cody, Wyoming, in that section. I'm um, like, I want to go to the cemetery. Got it all planned out where I could go visit. Is it Wild Bill Hiccup or Cody? I wanted those guys. I wanted to go see his grave, and that was in a row. I was like, you are so weird. Bro. I can't wait. I'm going to go see Prince next year. We were supposed to go this year for Mother's Day. I was supposed to go see Prince's home, as in Purple Rain Prince. 
that said they canceled it because of COVID, but they gave us tickets for next year. That was my Mother's Day and birthday, mother, birthday and Mother's Day uh, presents from Diamond was was taken me to Minneapolis. Who wants to go there right now, though? Um, to go see Paisley Park. That's like I told Diamond. That's my Graceland, man. I've never been to Graceland because I'm not, you know, Graceland's always a big deal. He's way before my time. I mean, technically. But Prince? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I want to go see it. So she surprised me. She was so ba bad because she gave me a little something on my birthday. And then it came to Mother's Day. And she hands me this white piece of paper. And I'm like, oh! She goes, sorry, it's canceled. And I'm like, oh. She goes, but it's canceled, but for following you. And it doubled our package. The lady said, Diamond, she says, the lady doubled our package because Diamond just got the basic. Now we moved up where we can actually go do something else where they have different things that you could buy to get in for Paisley Park, the basic and then whatever. We got an extra one because we were cool. Uh, so I can next year Paisley Park. Woohoo! This Minneapolis is still there. Because I told Diamond. Oh, wait, Minneapolis is right now. I don't know if I want to go to that state, but especially when that when that especially next year when they're having at trials. For those officers that killed George Floyd. That's gonna be a tense city. Not a tense city. Tense. Such the trials going on. So I hope it's before or after. And calm down. Alright, I think I'm gonna call it a night. I'll call it a morning. Um I'm gonna go at go eat an apple fritter. Make me a cup of tea again. I think I'm gonna take my sleepy time tea this time. Or actually, I bought some new almond chocolate milk. Maybe I'll have a glass of chocolate milk. Cause... But please, please, please go check out Bima's channel and Etsy store. Her, like her kids. I mean, this thing is cute, guys. Tea holder. What's I mean, I made tea holder, but I only made a single tea holder. This one holds what? One. What did I call it in there? Let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four, five, six, yeah, six tea holders, am I right? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six tea bags in this. And if you're cute, you and you don't necessarily have to put tea bags in here. I mean, I know they make coffee like this, and flavored packets that are coffee now, because Diamond buys them when we do our camping, where it's just like a tea bag, but it's flavored coffee. So you do flavor coffee when it's in there too. Um, or it would be cute too. Is you know those ba those little wipes? You could do the little wipes packets and put some little baby wipe those little wipes in there and little those flat caramel. Oh, I love that caramel, Scott Bisey. And I don't know the name of it, but it's flat. You could stick chocolate in here as well. There's that candy. With, it's like square. It can't be any bigger than this. Oh, my God. I can see the packages. They make caramel, salted caramel, mint. It fit in there, too. That chocolate. See? Things you think of. See, that's very. Don't have to use it for tea. Oh, I can see that name in my head right now. I can see it, but I can't remember what it is. It's because you're used to buying it. You don't remember the name. You're just like, oh, yeah. Because they're always at the cone or at Walgreens, sitting there in a container. But those would fit in there, too. Look at the ideas you can cut if you don't want to use it as a tea cozy. Gift card holder. Stick a little piece of chocolate in there. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. There we go. Boom. So that was, that's still in a store, by the way. That's July's. I'm backdated a little bit. So I want to thank each and every one of you for spending. Yes, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. 
See, I do. See, B my knows what I was talking about. That chocolate took a bomb. That's so good. But then we put it in there. Yeah. So you could use it as a little, you know, buy different packs of them. That'd be cute. There's, there's a lot of wonders. And just put that baby wipe in the back of the little packets. Do one of the, I mean, go someplace that serves ribs. They can walk out with a half a dozen of those little wipes like I do. Because I'm like, I know when I get ribs, they bring you one. And I'm like, you better bring me about 20 of those. Um, <laughs> Stick that in there with the chocolate in front. Yeah. Try little, little squares. Yeah. Man, they're so good. Yummy, yummy, yummy. This is how bored I was. I've been watching. <laughs> Scott takes them crazy. Quarter pusher videos. I can't. I was like, oh my God, look at the money they win. And I told Scott, I'm getting ready for when I go to Vegas, I'm playing those quarter machines, quarter pushers. I'm going to Gammon Throne, though. I'm going to I said, I'm going to play qu quarter pusher games. There you go. Really? I'm like, yeah, I'll figure out the technique before I get there. It's like, okay, baby. <laughs> he thinks I'm weird. But I, I, I think what it is, I figured out what it is. It's not. It's the sound of the money the falling. It puts me to sleep. Yep, I am weird. So it's kind of like ASMR. I wish the people would shut up though talking, but I like the sound of the change falling. Do -do -do -do, you know? Yeah, I know I'm a weird one. But I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping in, spending your time with me. If you happen to see this video, I will have Bimas Etsy store as well as her channel. Are you selling Jane Davenport? Uh, she has a few in there. She did it. Oh, hang on, I'll tell you. I got her channel. Let's see. She has at the moment. Uh, where are they? She has Javen. Jane Davenport Velvet Paste Pastels. Those are nice. I have some of them. Um, I think that's all she's got left. Let me see. Do, do, do. Oh, what am I doing? Hang on. I can just do this over here. Search. And there we go. Boom. Search. Yes, that's all she has left is the Velvet Pastels. Yeah, I can hang on. I can show you. They're neat. Let me find mine. I'll show you real quick. Oh, man, where am I? Second here. Oh, see, yeah, when I moved everything, I can't find it. Oh, here's one. This is what they look like. They got the, I call it the lis lipstick bar. Very creamy. Very creamy. Let me get a piece of scratch paper. Very creamy, so just. It don't take a lot. What I would I when I use these, um, I don't use this. Okay, you know when you do an image, I usually tap it on my finger. So I'll tap it on my finger. Say I'm working on an image, and I kind of go like this. You get more control. But just a hint. Um, I want, and some people had it, but I didn't have the money. Um, what the heck were they? The pencils. Because I have the makeup. I think I'm missing one color, though. I, I have the, the pastels, and then I have the natural ones. I think there's one more. And then I have the little ones. You know what I wish I could find more of is Teresa sent me these. 
these things are phenomenal. Smoothies, love, look at that. Love them. I only got two colors. The cool pens. Yeah. Um, but definitely, if you get her stuff, see what I, this is all I thought when my Hobby Lobby was, had their big sale. I was so disappointed. Um, if you buy her creamy stuff, I put it back. Watch a few of her videos to learn the techniques because I didn't first and I can kind of kick myself in the butt that I did it or just, you know, this stuff, how she works with this. I didn't care for this. That's why I didn't pick them up from Bima because I only have two colors of this. I didn't really, but I love her shadows. I use them a lot. Yeah. Love, love her shadows. And I wish I could find the fine tip pen she had. But see, I my newest thing, or my newest thing, my next adventure. I haven't even did it yet. Because I forgot about them. I, I opened them, did a video, and put them underneath my desk back here. forgot about it. I like three of her first channels. Is I'm going to be learning how to do this calligraphy. But I, I want the calligraphy pen. Because all I they gave me was pencil and a really fine tip marker. I want to learn how to do it with the old-fashioned pen. So I want to purchase one of those. That's what I'm going to... So, I, like this thing right there. Where is it? That type of pen where it has that metal blade. And you dip it. I want to purchase that. This is going to be a series. I'm going to practice and do a video. So do. But I'm going to purchase ink wells in, a, in a, that type of pen. And I want to learn how to do that. But yeah, that's what I, how I do these when I use that pastel paste, whatever you call it. But Riley thought, she, Riley was, I called out my Jane Tavern port. She thought it was makeup. She was putting it on her, all caught her, put, almost ca caught her putting it on her eye, her eyelids. I'm like, that's not eyeshadow. It's makeup, Nana. I'm like, no, it's not. You and I am, I'm like, you can't do that. Not eyeshadow, baby. I said it's craft eyeshadow. <laughs> Not real eyeshadow, girl. I'm trying to think. Um, I want to. I got her paints that I want to learn to cream through her fate. I just bought a couple books from Teresa of Jane Davenport's, and I'm gonna sit back and um, actually go step by step by step and learn her face techniques so I can draw faces, create a face for the makeup, go nine yards. That's my goal. Because I can color really good with marker, but I can't draw the faces and I'd love to do that face that she does. So that's one of my goals. That's what I was going to But I said I was going before, and I think I am. Any more questions, everybody? So, as always, everybody, be happy. Be kind. Be safe. I screwed that up. Be happy. Be kind. Be safe. Be funny. Be crafty. Bye for now. Thank you for hanging out for two and a half hours. Like I said, I'm going to have Bima's channel as well as her Etsy store linked in the description box below. So, if you're interested in any of your kits... Go all the way down in her itemized list, and it says monthly kits on the bottom. I believe it says monthly. Yeah, monthly project kits on the bottom. She has four in there right now. And check them out. And look for November's, because that one's going to be cool. Harry Potter, everybody. Who doesn't like Harry Potter? I even like Harry Potter. But I want to thank each and every one of you guys. Have a good Mon Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? Or is it Wednesday? It is Tuesday. So, 
Hey, I haven't felt good, so I've been sleeping a lot. I might have missed a whole day for all I know. So thank you all. Have a good day. Bye.